Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm at the uh, Israel Museum and uh, this is of course an amazing museum. They have a fantastic exhibit on about uh, the old synagogue in Aleppo. But uh, tonight more uh, modern and exciting things are happening. We're here for the Jerusalem Wine Festival. This has been going on for approximately 10 years. I've been living in Israel for uh, seven years now and it's been the highlight of my summer almost for every one of those years. Um, the Israel Museum is of course a beautiful setting and the Jerusalem Wine Festival is one of the biggest wine festivals in the country. At this event you have a mixture of the kind of larger Israeli wineries like Barkan as well as the much more small boutique wineries like the wonderful Ramat Negev winery which we visited in the south of Israel in Nitzan A Sinai a few days ago. Uh, the way it works here is uh, you go around, you get a cup like most wine festivals, a tasting glass and you can just go around and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to speak to a few of the wine growers and uh, hear about their wines and it's always a fantastic event so let's get our glass and go in. Basak Cellars is a winery that's located in Washington State and the special, special, speciality of the winery is to make wines from fruit like blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. We take the fruits and we make wines from by ferment the fruits for a procedure of six months and after it reaches the 11% level of alcohol we uh, bottle the wines. Basak Cellars it's the best serving that you can have for a very unique culinary experience. Try them, serve cold. Well, here we are once again with Daniel Rose Hill out at some great social event. If you ever get a chance to come to the wine festival at the Israel Museum, don't miss it. I think after Corona, people are really excited to just get out of their house. So yeah, it was really nice to see all the random people that you see from over the years in Jerusalem come out. Hi everybody, I'm Avi Wiesenberg. I'm here at the Jerusalem Wine Festival. One of the highlights of my summer in Israel. It is literally one of the greatest evenings. Cool breeze, excellent wine, great crowd, good music, good food, great wine. I have to say the wine's come on leaps and bounds in the last few years. And despite being a gout sufferer myself, I go through hell in order to enjoy this wine because it is some of the best wine in the world. Both the mainstream scalable wineries, the Tabors, the Kamels, the ones you might be able to buy in the supermarket, as well as the really niche boutique wines where you can taste that extra something. You're never quite sure what it is, but you really, really enjoy it. And that's why I'm here. Hello, hello. I am here with my husband, Mr. Arie. Hello, and Arie. Hi. It's very different wine taste, and that's what's very lovely about this wine festival, is that there's lovely wine also for my taste and also for his taste. What are your favorite wines? So I prefer more heavy red wine. And I prefer very light wines and very fruity wines, and it's very lovely because we can both go to the same wine stash and each get a different wine. It's lovely for each of our tastes, and that helps us bond as a couple. Um, here at the Wine Festival in Jerusalem at the Israel Museum. Uh, I enjoy buying wine in Israel. I enjoy buying also Spanish, Italian, French wine. Uh, so uh, come to Israel and try some of our wines. Kiva Rabinsky, David Stark, Noah Pickholtz. And this has been an annual guys trip and usually the loser of our fantasy football league <laughs> has to cover the bill and we fly out to Jerusalem and come to the wine festival. That's me this year. Uh, no comparison. Top notch. I mean, if you go look at the dance floor, the music, the vibe, the, the people, the variety of wines, it's just a great event. The location, the, the temperature. The atmosphere, the music, it's just, it's just so much what we're looking for. Hey, friends, what's going on? I'm Eldad Schreiber. We're here in the Oave Ate, the Tea Lovers. So what we're doing, I'll explain. We're going to take all the concepts of Tea. שהוא לפעמים משעמם להכין טיעונים רק כשאתה חולה, לעשות בבית, סבתא עושה לך ועשינו משהו פשוט יותר מרענן, יותר צעיר, יותר מגניב 
לקחנו את כל החומרים שאנחנו הכי אוהבים, כי אנחנו הכי אוהבים תה, אנחנו מבשלים את זה בבישול ארוך עם מלא חומרים טבעיים, ובסוף נוצר מין תמצית, אני אראה לכם דוגמה לבקבוק, זה הדובדבן השובב שלנו, אנחנו לוקחים דובדבן, תפוח והיביסקוס, אנחנו מבשלים את זה בישול ארוך ויוצא תמצית. שאני יכול לעשות את זה או קר או חם, נגיד פה אני יכול לקחת את הדובדבן השובב, לשים אותו עם תה חם ויש לי סנגריה. היי, תהי לאבס, צ'ק אז אאוט. We had good times, spoke to wonderful people, definitely tried lots of wine, and I really hope that you all come, maybe tomorrow or the day after, to enjoy some Israeli wines and support Israel. And it was an amazing festival in Jerusalem. You have to come next year. Thank you. How was the wine festival? That was great. Something, um, something amazing, amazing. Yeah, everyone was amazing. drunk over here. They're trying to take out the people. Yeah. It looks like everyone was drunk. He's okay. Did, he, looks did you so, taste, he looks sober. Did you taste all of the wine? Not everything, because not everything was kosher. Ah, uh, okay. It looks, like, it looks okay. What about you? Uh, how, would you how did you drink tonight? I drank a lot. But I think it's enough. I think it's enough for tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, there's nothing better than this wine festival. I think this might be my eighth year consecutively. And what I could say is that if you want to see half of Israel tipsy in the most beautiful, light, enjoyable, classic way, you've got to come to this wine festival. So uh, we just finished up here in the wine festival. It's about uh, 12 o'clock here in Jerusalem or midnight. And uh, the final stragglers are coming out. This year was an amazing wine festival. Uh, we saw, as usual, some of the big wineries in Israel as well as some of the boutique ones. And also represented, my favorite wineries are the people making wine from different fruits because wine from grapes is just one type of wine. We saw some blueberry wine, raspberry wine, all different types of wine and it was really cool speaking to people. Uh, some folks coming from Cleveland just to be here and it was really, really amazing. Next year, if you're watching this on tomorrow, uh, there's two more nights at the Jerusalem Wine Festival or come again next year because it's always festival, an amazing event. The festival, get it? Festival, festival, yeah. <laughs> So if you don't make it this year, definitely come back next year. It's a yearly event in the Israel Museum and uh, it's an amazing time for wine lovers or anyone who just enjoys a good night out in Jerusalem. And we have some guy here who says it wasn't just the wine festival, it was the... The wine festival is the best of all. You heard it here. Trust this guy. Yes, exactly. Whatever he said is Whatever true. Said, it's extremely uh, right. True and right it's all, it's all. and it's all everything. I live in have you heard of uh, California Wine TV, a new YouTube channel? No, but I heard about California Weed uh, Channel, and I'm cool with that. Okay, to Yotsim.